Hey y'all, welcome to the homework tutorial for um, lesson one. It's the week of April 20th. Okay, so I want to take a look at these highlighted ones. Um, really, it's just vocabulary. Uh, the first one you need to have memorized to be ready for the end of the week quiz is number two. Okay, water is a polar or nonpolar molecule. So water we should have memorized is a polar molecule. Okay, it's because in H2O, so you've got your H2O, okay, we end up with a slightly negative half and a slightly positive half. Water is a polar molecule. And that's going to help you answer questions like number four. Okay, it says hexane, C6H14 is insoluble in water, um, which statement best, best explains why. So the first thing you need to remember is that the word insoluble means that they do not mix. It's not dissolvable, okay? So the reason that they don't mix is not because water is nonpolar, because we need to have memorized that water is polar, okay? Water is certainly not ionic, because you have two nonmetals, so water is covalent. So water is polar, yes for A and yes for C, okay? So if we're taking out garbage, we've already eliminated these two. Um, and then we look at the first half of this qualifying statement. It says hexane is ionic. Uh, meh, okay. And it says hexane is nonpolar. So if we look, carbon and hydrogen, neither of those is a metal. So that means it can't be ionic. Let me switch colors back. So it's not A, which just leaves me with C. Hexane must be nonpolar. If I know water is polar and that they don't mix, then like dissolves like. Hexane must not be like. Okay, there was one just like that in the notes as well. Number six um, will help you answer number five. So I wanted to look at number six with you. Number six says solids dissolve better in hotter or colder solvents. And then temperature and the solubility of solid have direct or inverse relationship. So um, we learned that higher temperature dissolves solids better. Okay. So hot chocolate will dissolve more cocoa, um, hot tea will dissolve more sugar, those types of things. So um, solids dissolve better in hotter. We're going to say yes for A and B. They definitely don't dissolve better in cooler. Okay. So if we're taking out the garbage, I got rid of those. Um, and then we've got temperature and the solubility of solids have a blank relationship. Okay. Well, let's do our arrows. So if they dissolve better, that's an increase in what kind of temperature, higher temperature, hotter. And if our arrows go up together, that's a direct relationship. Okay, they would also dissolve worse in colder. So again, we've got our direct relationship, not inverse. And that should help you with number five as well. Okay, it's the same type of question. Number seven, we had one just like this in the notes. Um, it says, if you need to increase the solubility of a solid dissolved in a liquid. Okay, so we're thinking sugar dissolved in water. What should we do to agitation and what should we do to temperature? Okay, remember when it says increase the solubility, that means we want it to dissolve better or dissolve faster or dissolve more. Okay. So we want it to dissolve better. What should we do to agitation? Which is our nerdy word for stirring. We should stir it more. Okay, stirring makes it dissolve better. So I want to increase agitation, which means I'm going to take out those two answer choices and do what to the temperature? Well, we talked about that here. Higher temperature will increase the solubility. So the hotter it is, the better it will dissolve. So I want to increase, but I don't want to lower the temperature. I want to increase stirring and raise the temperature. D. Number eight, we're talking about saturated solutions. So unfull, full, and super full solutions. Okay. And then our keywords we're looking for. So um, answer choice A, holding the maximum amount of solute means it's full. So A would be our option for saturated solutions. Okay, I'm going to switch colors. That one's nonsense. Sorry, y'all. 
um, can hold extra solutes will crystallize or precipitate. Okay, that's what we talked about with like our rock candy. Okay, that's, I don't know, pretty super, guys, if it can form a crystal. Oh, dear. Super nerdy. Super saturated. Okay. And then unsaturated, it can hold more because it's not full yet. So if it can hold more. There we go. And then those are the same keywords you're going to be looking for on 9, 10, and 11. So I'm going to let you go ahead and do that. I'm just going to let my circle some keywords. Okay. More solute could be dissolved. More than the maximum and maximum. All right. Hopefully that's quick and easy. Thanks, y'all.